I'd have to say in response to your question, this is very, uh, very good question and something that I have experienced as a social worker. I wouldn't say it's necessarily transference, but it was when I realized that the things that our clients are going through do affect us. And my, the case that I had was with a client who had put a child up for adoption. And we went into the adoption agency to drop off a Christmas present. And it was then that day that they told her the, the child had already been adopted back in October by the foster family and no one had told her. And at that instant, I felt that pain that she felt because she was never told. And it was the first time that I saw the client cry and I was ready to cry right behind her. So I had to excuse myself and just like shed a few tears because I couldn't imagine what she was going through. But that's where her uh, pain was kind of transferred on to me and it's something that I'll never forget. But as far as how I would deal with it in the future because our clients tell us some really rough things. Some of the way they live are not things that we agree with. Um, but I think it's making sure you know where your values are and being able to separate yourself from some of the situations. And if that means finding good self-care for yourself or um, seeking your own therapist to talk about some of the things that you hear on a daily basis, those are things that help with transference issues. Great question.